Hello everyone. So uh, we have came to another video for automated uh, EDA library that is uh, uh, automatic libraries for uh, exploratory data analysis. So we have already uh, done with the uh, SweetWiz uh, pandas profiling and all. So let's understand another data, uh, another uh, EDL automated library that is data prep. Okay. So to use that uh, data prep library, you have to install it using pip install hyphen u data prep. Okay. So to use it, you have to use uh, right from data prep dot EDA import create underscore report. Then you have to load the data set for which uh, data set for which you want to create the report. Okay. So uh, we have taken the diabetes data set in which based on number of pregnancies, glucose level, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI and DPF function and age, you have to, the model will predict whether a person is diabetic or not. Okay. So then we have to write create underscore report, pass the data and show. So it will create a report uh, uh, automatic. It will create a report of that data, which will give you the, uh, so many things are there, which will be automatically created by the data prep uh, library. Okay. So number of variables are seven, number of rows, missing cells, missing rows, duplicate rows. And if the data is skewed or not, so see here, pregnancies is skewed, skin thickness is skewed, insulin is skewed like that. So it will give you all the information about your uh, uh, features. Then the next thing is the variables. In variables, it will give you the all the variables. It will show you the, uh, you can say, bar plot and uh, what are the missing values, minimum, maximum, number of zeros, positives, negatives. The, then it will show you here whether it will it is a numerical column or it is a non-numerical column. When you will press here show details, it will give you the statistics uh, statistical details like uh, mean, standard deviation, variance, skewness, kurtosis, range, IQR and all those things. Then it can give you the plot also, uh, kernel density plot also, normal QQ plot also and the box plot also so that you can find if outliers are present or not. So like that, it will generate these reports for each and every uh, feature, or you can say each and every column of the data set. Okay, so like that, it has given for glucose, all the things are there, minimum value, maximum value, zeros, then uh, statistics, KD, plot, normal plot, box plot, like that. So see, it will uh, tell you that blood pressure is again a numerical column, so insulin is again a numerical column. BMI is again a numerical column. And uh, you can see that age is again a numerical column. And outcome is a categorical column as we have two categories, zero and one. Okay. So like that, it will give you the information about each and every features. Then it will show you the interactions. That is the relationship between the two uh, uh, columns. So we have taken, you, uh, there are drop-down box, then the drop-down box contains all the names of the features. So we have selected age and BMI. So let's see what's the graph between age and BMI, right? So age on x-axis and BMI on y-axis will be get created and it will give you the relationship between the two features, okay? Then it will give you the correlation values. Correlation values can be Pearson, Spearman or Candle. Okay, so it will give you the correlation values also between each and every uh, uh, variables. Then it will tell you about the missing values. It can show you missing values in the form of bar chart or you can say spectrum, heat map or dandogram. Okay, so like that you can find out the missing value also with the help of data visualization. Okay. So that's why uh, data prep library is very helpful. We have other components also available in data prep. So like this, this was available under data prep.eda. Same way we have data prep.clean and data prep.connector. Data prep.clean will help in cleaning and standardizing the data. While data prep.connector will help you in connecting the databases through SQL queries with one line of the code. Okay, so this is all about the data prep.
that is automated eda library stay tuned for uh, more informative video bye bye